Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Pearl. I'm Apke Host, Apke Dost Roy. Friends, we are talking about a brand new series, Series 5. Which uh, topic is an introduction to Euclid's geometry. Today is episode number 2. Today we are talking about some of Euclid's important axioms. Ki. So now friends, let's get started. Aapko malhame last presentation mein, last webisode mein, we talked about a brief history of geometry and how Euclid was the first person who, a great, uh, he's a great mathematician who compiled all the known work in his treatise called Elements, right? Now, jo Elements thi dosto, then we learned that how ye jo uh, famous, let us call it the document. Now, this basically is the foundation of geometry as we know it today. Right now, Jab uh, Euclid he was writing uh, the elements. Then, unhone a lot of things he defined. Then he made a lot of assumptions. Right. Then we saw that how jo assumptions thi, those assumptions ko unhone he actually uh, put them into two groups. Ek ko he called them axiom. And axiom friends we saw also that these were assumptions which were related actually to mathematics in general. And they were not really tied up to uh, geometry itself. And then there were a lot. There was another um, group of uh, assumptions called postulates. Now we saw that postulates were actually assumptions which were related to geometry. So friends, today we are going to talk about uh, some of the important assumptions, uh, axioms. And then next episode, we are going to talk about some of the important postulates. Also, friends, as we have said in the last episode, mein, he, Euclid actually used um, these axioms and postulates to then deduce more results and once he got some of those results then he used them again to create even more uh, results which basically we call um, you know theorems uh, in, in today's language. So this is, also, this is very important to understand that axioms or what are these assumptions, axioms and postulates, what are these friends? Because you aap, aap notice that now we are talking about the absolute fundamentals of geometry. So we want to you to pay attention to these things. And and chali dosa, let us get started. So as let us talk about some of the important axioms that uh, Euclid he had outlined. Now the the first one that he said was things equal to same thing are equal to each other. Now apiches notice karoge dosto. Now as we will go through all of these axioms and postulates. Um, you will see how simply things are written, right? So, and then we will try jahan jahan pe appropriate to kind of explain that to you in a little bit more detail. And then those, as we talk about some of the um, next series, series 6, 7, etc. Hum continuously dekhenge ki ye, ye jo Euclid's ki axioms and postulates hain, uh, ko, wo kya kya hain and how we relate it or how we apply it to a lot of things that we actually know today. So things equal to same thing are equal to each other. So what he meant was, man leje, if you take something and let us call it A, and those by this hum ye nahi mean kar rahe hain ki ye ek square hai called A. Koi bhi ek cheez lije aapko, man aap ek cheez lete ho and you call it A. Now similarly those you take uh, another thing you call it B. So ye jo cheeze hain dosto. Now man leje ye jo cheez hai A, that is actually equal to uh, a thing called C. So, we have three things A, B and C. So, man lije, ye jo, the thing A is actually same as, as C. And again, we have the, the, the thing called B that is also same as C. So, Euclid ne kaha ki agar asa hota hai, then basically it means that both A and B are equal also. So, this is a universal truth. So basically he said things that are equal to same thing, things equal to same thing, they are equal to each other. So in this case, A is equal to C, jo bhi hai A, A and C they are same thing. Similarly, jo cheez hai B, that thing and C are same thing. Now, agar aisa hota hai friends, then he said A is equal to B. So those are, now you can think about anything here, right? So this was the first uh, axiom. Then he stated something like things that coincide with one another, thing that coincides with one another, they are actually equal to each other. 
सो so, उन्होंने कहा मान लीजिए आप एक चीज लेते हो लाइक ए राइट एंड देर इज अनादर थिंग कॉल्ड बी सो वॉट ही सेट बजट अगर मान लीजिए देर आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स अगर आप ए को पकड़ के बी के ऊपर डालते हो एंड इफ ए कंप्लीटली को इनसाइड्स विद बी तो सिंपली मान लीजिए अगर आप ए को उठा के बी के ऊपर डालते हो एंड एंड ए एग्जैक्टली कवर्स बी देन इसका मतलब है बोथ ए एंड बी आर इक्वल सो थिंग्स दैट को इनसाइड विथ वन अन अदर आर इक्वल टू इच अदर देन द नेक्स्ट एक्सियम फ्रेंड्स दैट ही सेट वर्स इफ इक्वल्स आर एडेड टू इक्वल्स होल्स आर इक्वल्स so if equals are added to equals so man lijiye you actually have a and now we have a is equal to b hamare paas aise do cheeze hain that completely overlap each other hame malum hai ki a is equal to b then he said agar aap if you add another uh, thing or object called c to a and if you add the same thing uh, c to b then aapko abhi jo milegi this this object which is now ac right this ac will be equal to bc or b plus c so basically friends if equals which is c in this case is added to equals so aapke paas a and b were equal and you added the same thing to both of them so ye jo resultant hai ac a plus c is equal to b plus c bc then uh, euclid uh, made uh, he stated that if equals are subtracted from equals humne third point mein baat ki thi if equals are added to equals yahan pe if equals are so in this case it was added yahan pe if they are subtracted from equals remainder are equal so basically again yahan pe dosto this time we are starting off with a thing like this and hame malum hai ki ye dono equal hai सो अगर यहां से इफ यू टेक आउट दिस पार्ट कोई भी एक पार्ट एंड इफ यू टेक आउट दैट सेम अमाउंट फ्रॉम द अदर साइड सो ये जो बैलेंस है आपकी दिस दिस पार्ट इज इक्वल टू दिस पार्ट सो आप सोच रहे हो दोस्तों एज यू आर रीडिंग थ्रू दिस एज यू आर गोइंग थ्रू दिस आप सोच रहे हो दीज आर ऑल कॉमन सेंस बट अगेन आप अगर आप आप इफ यू पुट योर सेल्फ इन 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 यूक्लिट शू वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दोस्तों उस जमाने में जहां पे देर वॉज नो रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ एनी थिंग पीपल बेसिकली जो भी वो ऑब्जर्व करते हैं आपके यू नो रोज की जिंदगी में दैट इज वॉट दे नो सो यूक्लिट वॉज द फर्स्ट पर्सन हू स्टार्टेड टू राइट ऑल ऑफ दिस बेसिक थिंग्स इन दिस डॉक्यूमेंट विच वी कॉल एलिमेंट्स विच वी आर सेंग इट इज द फाउंडेशन ऑफ मैथ जोमेट्री एज वी नो इट टूडे देन now this was very uh, important friends now he said whole is actually greater than the part and this is the first time friends of ye jo pehli char points thi aur jo axioms thi they were more talking about the equality ye first time we are talking about inequality yahan pe what euclid said was agar aap koi bhi ek cheez lete ho and dosto yahan pe like we have been discussing this is not like we are talking about square or anything these represent anything that you can think of so yahan pe what he said was man lijiye agar aapke paas if you have something like this and aap you basically take out man lijiye you take out this part right so aap ise nikal dete ho then what euclid said was so abhi agar aap ise nikal dete ho then you are actually having um chaliye ise ek bar redraw karte hain so aapke paas you had this initially and abhi aapne you have you know taken that out so ye piece nikal gayi hai and then you have these two pieces right चलिए लेट एस इग्नोर दिस डायग्राम सो यू स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद दिस आपने ये पीस यू चॉप्ड इट ऑफ निकाल दी है आपने सो ये है आपकी दिस पीस एंड दिस इज द रिमेनिंग पीस सो व्हाट यूक्लिड सेड वाज ये जो होल है दिस एंटायर अमाउंट इज एक्चुअली ग्रेटर देन द पार्ट सो दिस एंटायर अमाउंट इज ग्रेटर देन दिस एंड दिस एंटायर अमाउंट इज ग्रेटर देन दिस सो मान लीजिए अगर आप इस पूरे को इफ यू वुड हैव कॉल्ड इट ए एंड ये जो छोटी सी पार्ट आपने निकाली है इफ यू कॉल दिस पार्ट बी एंड दिस पार्ट रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज सी so what euclid said basically was chali dosto isko yahan pe likhte hain that a jo hai the whole is actually greater than b and also a is greater than c iska matlab hai b ke sath aapko kuch kuch jodni hai to make it equal to a so similarly c ke sath you have to add something to make it equal to a 
And also now we are going to talk about, I think there are uh, two more axioms left that we wanted to discuss. So here is your sixth axiom, hai, it says, things which are double of same thing are equal. So if you start with A is equal to B, then if you make it two times, and if you make this two times, then they will also be equal. Things which are double of same things are equal. And then those are finally the axiom that we wanted to discuss before we uh, complete today's webisode is things which are half of same things are equal. So again, if you start with A equal to B, aap ise, you, you make it into half and you make this into half. So wo jo half half portion, hai, then they will be again equal. So you are thinking that you know, how abhi tak we have not really discussed ki how this thing, uh, all of these axioms they relate to us. Before we move on to the postulates, we have a quick application. So, if you have a line and you have point A and you have point uh, C, we put a point B. Uh, we put a point B on AC. So, you have to see that you have to prove that you have to prove that. AC is equal to AB plus BC. अगर हम आपसे कहते हैं, चलिए प्रूफ कीजिए that AC AC is equal to AB plus BC. तो आप सोचो कि what kind of question is this? क्योंकि this is very clearly evident, right? So क्योंकि आप अगर आप if you look at the line, B is a point on the line. तो so इसका मतलब है अगर आप AB plus BC करते हो, then you will get AC. But those now this is this is how you have to think about it, right? Now the point B actually lies on AC, right? Right? So agar aap sochte ho ek aise line. So man lijiye think about it this way. So you have you have a line like this. You have ki A, you have ki B. Then from B se leke you have a line B C, right? Now, if you think that your line is AC like this, right? AC like this. If you think that there is another line, now, if you take this line, if you put it on top of it, so this line will totally coincide with this line. Correct? Now, Euclid has said from one of his axioms that if the things that coincide are equal, so this is your line, which was you had AB, plus BC. This line ke upar, agar hum ye jo line AC dalte hai, and if AC coincides this, then iska matlab hai, ye jo hai, this should be equal to AC. So, dostar, abhi hai, next episode mein hum baat karenge postulates ki. So, agle episode mein fir milenge, tab tak liye shukriya, thanyavad.